Welcome to the Redirect, Regroup, Refocus podcast with your host, life coach, Jeff Relliford. This podcast is designed for those who wish to change their inner self in order to maximize outward potential. So come redirect, regroup, and refocus with your number one life coach, Jeff Relliford. Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Life Coach Jeff, coming to you again. Hey, look, I as always, I want to thank you all for listening to the podcast, you know, and uh, I want to thank y'all for tuning in faithfully because we do have some faithful listeners. I appreciate you all for tuning in every week, even if you're playing catch up on episodes or playing uh, last week's episode, uh, stuff like that, or listening to this one today. Uh, I want to let you know we really appreciate you and I want to tell you thank you. And, uh, so, y'all, I hope y'all had a good holiday season. You know, I hope y'all have a good holiday season. We're not done yet because we still have New Year's. So, we'll take some time to focus on that. But I want to talk about future today. You know, I really want to talk about future. Because as we are moving over into the new year, you know, we always uh, make plans. You know what I mean? But let's let's just talk about your future and what that looks like to you. Okay. Now, when we go ahead and we always talk about future, what do we always pay attention to? Okay, Let, let's see. We look at what's coming up next, right? We always pay attention to what comes up next or what's going to be happening later on. What can we plan? What can we prepare for? Right. This is what we're paying attention to. So as we're paying attention to those things, I've said this time and time again, you know, because when you look at the definition of future, it's the time or a period of time following the moment of speaking or writing. OK, time regarded as still to come. OK, so when it's time still to come, that means you're going to plan it out. OK, so effectively, when you want to make sure you uh, implement things with your future, you want to make sure that everything is planned out correctly. Now, I, I get it with some of you all. Y'all don't know what that plan looks like. You know what I mean? I get it. Uh, there are a lot of things that I do. I don't know how my next day is going to look. I don't know how my next hour or minute is going to look. But we still have to lay down some type of foundation, right? So you have to be mindful of that foundation that you want to lay, okay? And ask yourself the question, what are my future plans? What are my future goals? You know, simply write down what it is that you want first and then start implementing objectives okay objectives okay because goals are big goals are very big feats at times like i could say i want to make a million dollars but you want to know something you haven't wrote down the objectives in order to make that million dollars you know what i mean you don't have the path set out in front of you to kind of show you or guide you in a in a way to how you can make that million dollars. So the thing is, everybody, you want to make sure that you set up objectives, okay? These objectives are simply your steps in order to get to the goal. Now, I don't know how many objectives you're going to end up having. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know that per se, but only you do. So it's up to you to make sure that you're going to effectively get to your goal. Now, like I said earlier, we don't know what that future is going to look like. You know, a lot of times uh, people say, oh, I haven't reached my goal yet. I failed. No, you haven't failed. You just haven't found the proper way for you to get to the place that it is that you want to go to. Does that make sense? Once again, you haven't failed. You just haven't reached the proper place that you would like. So what you have to do, you have to go to back to the drawing board. You got to revamp a little bit. And revamping is fine. You know what I mean? Revamping is fine. It is okay to, for you to go ahead, go back, and take an inventory of what you have. Okay? And when you see, when we take inventory, that's, that's the existing things that are already there. Correct? Those are staying close to those existing things that are already there and able to recognize them. Okay? And know how each and every one of those fits in its proper place. OK, once again, when you're taking inventory, OK, when you take inventory, you are recognizing those things that are already existing and seeing how they all fit into their proper places. So you ask, well, Jeff, how could life coach Jeff? How does this pertain to my objectives? 
It's very simple. Once you know how things fit in, okay, in the proper place, those technically are the steps that you follow. Or if you're looking at it past tense, because I told you to take inventory, you're looking at the steps that you've already taken and the current result that you're in now, okay? You're taking a look at the the steps that you have done already, and you're looking at the current result, okay? Because a lot of times, it's funny, man, a lot of times when we do things, we don't realize that we're that we're taking the steps. We indirectly don't realize that we're taking steps. So that's why it's very great that you continue to take inventory and always look at where you are. Pay attention to your progression. OK, progression is very key because a lot of times that's how we take things for granted. You feel me? What we end up doing is we start looking at other things that go on in our life. OK, and we think those are the steps. But see, did the steps allow you to grow? that the steps allow you to change. And the thing is, when we throw that C word around, okay, when we throw that C word around change, um, a lot of people don't like that. A lot of people don't like it because it allows you to move into an area that will make you feel uncomfortable, right? And we know uncomfortability means irritability, right? You're restless. You do not want to stay in that current space that you're in because it doesn't make you feel good. So since it doesn't make you feel good, what do you want to do? You want to get out of it. But I challenge you. I don't even want to say but. I just challenge you to stop paying attention to what's in front of you or around you. And if you're going to pay attention to it in a negative way, stop paying attention to what's in front of you and around you in a negative way. That's what I'm trying to say. And look at what's right in front of you as a positive. Okay, Uh, it's very simple, people. It's like I've said before, and sometimes on uh, other shows and other platforms. It's so easy for us as people to pick out the negativity. So easy for us to pick out the negativity. Because I'm sitting right here right now. I don't like the way that I'm sitting in my chair. Okay, I don't like the way that I'm sitting in my chair. It's easy to pick that out, but I'm not focusing on that because I have a message to deliver. Does that make sense? Since I have a message to deliver, it really doesn't matter how I'm sitting here on this chair. It really doesn't matter how my back is hunched over. Yeah, good posture is a thing. (laughs) You know what I mean? Good posture is a thing that you want, right? But with that being said, okay, with that being said, You want to make sure that you pay attention to the things that really matter and going to make a difference. Now, your posture makes a makes a difference to you because that can affect you later on. But in terms of me and what I'm putting out as far as the content, see, I'm worried about the information that I'm putting out there. So that's what I pay attention to. You feel me? You pocket certain things for certain time periods in certain time frames. okay? because if you pocket those things. You won't have to worry about 20,000 different ideas or objectives or steps at one time. The whole point of this, people, is to be synchronized, okay? You want to go in order. You want to make sure that you go in order. And if you go in order and if you follow the steps, okay, you know you're going to get somewhere. That's the thing, people. You know that you are going to get somewhere, You have to be okay with the somewhere not matching up to what it is, to what you thought in your mind. You feel me? You have to be okay with that somewhere being different. You have to be okay with that somewhere being different. Because if you're not okay with that somewhere being different, man, I'm I'm telling you, man, people, it's going to be a world of crazy. Mm Mm-hmm. Excuse me, I got my little drink in my hand. It's going to be a world of crazy for you. And what I mean by crazy is I don't mean a lot of uh, wildness. You know what I mean? I don't mean that. Sometimes craziness can be in your mental state, okay? You just trying to get to the next step. We create excuses, right? We end up creating uh, different scenarios that aren't even there. And, you know, it just turns into what I said earlier, an excuse. So you repeat this process over and over and over and over again. And then you find yourself still at objective number one because you were too afraid to take the next step to move on. 
That makes sense. I'm telling you. I, 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 give, I give these nuggets to help. You know what I mean? I give these nuggets to help. I hope I'm doing a good job at helping. I hope I'm helping somebody today. But, uh, yeah, definitely. It's It's just these are things that everyone goes through. Okay? These are things that everyone goes through. So the main thing that you really want to figure out is this. You want to ask yourself, okay, am I doing a good job? Or am I not doing a good job? Am I taking the time to really follow these objectives to get to the goal? Or am I creating excuses for myself? These, these, those are just a couple of the questions you got to ask yourself. Now, you'll probably ask yourself many more questions as you're on the journey, right? You know, we all ask ourselves many a questions as we, as we start to move along the course we call life. We ask ourselves many questions, thousands, thousands, billions of questions. I have a many you may think it is, but we ask ourselves these things. And those are only two. And those two are pretty hard hitting, you know? So you have to really take, once again, I said take that inventory. Take that inventory of yourself. It's, it's okay if you're wrong. Okay? Please. People, you have to remember this. It's okay to be wrong. You know, we put, at times we tend to put so much pressure on ourselves to want to do everything perfectly. Okay? Like, okay, I'll give you this example. I lost my podcast equipment. I am not recording. Now, I know this audio sounds great because, oh, my God, I'm listening to it right now. I'm monitoring. I always monitor my audio. This audio sounds great. But I don't have my original. I do not have my original equipment that I would use. So I'm using my equipment that I would normally use for my podcast on Monday through Thursdays. Or when I have to do a Zoom interview or when I have to do something else. Because I keep two separate things for that. You know what I mean? But it's working out great. Now, here I am thinking I didn't know how I was going to record this episode because I lost my equipment. And, and y'all, I do so much moving around. It's wild and crazy. Y'all, we just got a puppy, too. So here it is. We getting ready for the puppy. I'm moving stuff. Right. I, I misplaced my equipment. But I have something secondary. Here I was yesterday and the day before thinking, okay, Jeff. We got so much going on for the holidays. How are we going to go ahead? How am I going to go ahead and put out this episode for the day? How? Kept thinking. I could have easily kept my time going, right? I could have easily kept trying to figure out, well, man, I don't have this. I don't have that. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? See, that's the crazy I'm talking about. Sporadic thoughts, sporadic movements in your mind. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I mean by crazy. That doesn't mean that you're crazy. That just means your mind is moving a thousand miles a minute. And we want to minimize that. Okay. We want to minimize that. And how did I minimize that? I said, you know what, Jeff, you have another platform that you can use to record the content through. And then you could still go ahead, save it, push it out there and make sure that your viewers and listeners still have the content. Boom. Simple. See, I didn't know how my end was going to look, but I knew what I had. I took inventory on what I had on hand. Okay. I took inventory on what I had on hand. And I know there's a lesser, oh my gosh, there's there's an even lesser part that I could have took. Like I said, this sounds all this sounds good and looks good right now because of how I have it set up. But I could have took even lesser route to get the content out and to make sure that I had something to put out. But I didn't have to do that because I'm looking at what I had. I, I just had to realize that, look, Jeff, you can go down the line. Boom, boom, boom. Until you run out of things to use. Because my whole thing is I like to monitor my sound. I don't like to put out audio if I don't know how it's going to sound because I might have to tweak it later on. I don't want to tweak it. Let's be real. I don't want to tweak it. I want to use something that's going to either filter all that out for me, make it clear. You know what I mean? And then boom, bada, bam, just like that. We're done. We have it pushed out. It sounds great. Everybody's happy, especially I'm happy. And we move on for the rest of the day. You know what I mean? 
that's what we look at. That's what we look towards. That's what we look forward to, you know. But uh, yo, I had a different. I had the same objective to reach the same goal. My objective was how am I going to record? That was the objective, and the goal was to get the recording done so I can push it out. You feel me? That that's what it is. How am I gonna How am I gonna get the recording done so I can push it out? The goal is to do the recording for the day. That's what it is. And you all are going to get that. You, you're listening right now. So, see, I'm trying to, what I'm simply trying to tell y'all is that there's always a way to do something. There's always a way. A lot of times we're so frantic in our minds already that we just cannot bring ourselves to that point because we have already thought about the worst. We've already thought about the worst. So if we've already thought about the worst, we, we're already we have it made up in our minds like there must not be any good with it. Right. There must not be any good with it. Or if there is good to it, it's going to be a lot harder to get to that place because of what I've already had to go through to get to where I am now. Or. We could say, okay, we don't have nothing. Y- y'all know how it feels when y'all don't have nothing sometimes. And I don't mean nothing as far as money or anything like that. I'm talking about you don't have anything. You you ran out of all of your uh, ways, okay, or pathways to get towards the goal that you want. And you're like, I can't do it. We all know how that feels, right? We all know how that feels to uh, be rejected by our own okay by our own selves due to our own ineffective planning so we know how it feels to let ourselves down you know what i mean we 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 get that part so we have all been there so this is no different yo find a way to get it done but look at your goals and objectives in a positive light when you run into roadblocks Okay, roadblocks, stumbling blocks, whatever you want to call them. When uh, when you run into those, because the na- that's how you play the game, people. You want to know how to win the game of life. Le- learning how to win the game of life is knowing what to do through adversity. That that's it. Let let's just be real. I- I'm gonna be real with y'all. That's what it is. It is learning how to move through adversity. And the big thing with moving through adversity, people, is your mindset. I don't know how many times I have to say this. It is strictly, strictly your mindset. And, and it's funny. People always say all the time, well, I know how to be positive. I know I can get in the day. I know I can get in the day. You know, people always say that. But then they say, well, I don't want nobody telling me anything positive. Okay, but sometimes you need it. Because it's many a times when I've said that. In okay, case many a times when I put that out there and I've said that. And when I actually said it, I was I was creating that dark cloud. You know, I was creating that dark cloud, not uh inviting any more positivity to come in, right? Because I blocked it out. And then I was trying to figure out well, how's it gonna work? But then somebody I remember what somebody told me. And that gave me a little bit of extra hope for the next time. So, my people, if y'all don't want to hear somebody's positivity, you know what I mean? Sometimes just be quiet. Sometimes just shut up and listen. Because what you don't want to hear is exactly what you need a lot of the times. Plain and simple. You know, we see it with friends and family and everything like that. You know what I mean? All you have to do is go ahead and make it happen. And see, all these things apply to your future because what we're trying to what we're trying to do is we're trying to make sure that we have we have a good grasp of the things that are in front of us. We need to make sure we have a good grasp of that. And what I mean by a good grasp of it is is just understanding. Okay, I'm gonna break that down. Understanding. Okay. You have to understand why things are the way they are. And a lot of times, the reason why things are the way they are in our lives is because some things we can't control, okay? You have to be able to recognize that, too. Okay, let's throw that out there. Oh, man, excuse me. Oh, Yeah, it's been a, it's been a real busy couple of days, man, coming off, the, coming off this holiday stuff, man. It's wild. And I, and I got to 
do some more stuff today. It's hard to recuperate from that. But anyway, these are only for my movers and shakers, my people who not movers and shakers. Y'all don't know what it, what it feel like because y'all chilling. But y'all know what I mean, though. <laughs> so, uh, man, I lost my train of thought that fast. See how that? See how quick that happens, man. I I yawn. I do something, but we ain't gonna edit because y'all know how we roll. We don't edit here. We go straight through. Because we're going to get right back on it anyway. But like I said, understanding, that's what it is. You need to understand where you are. Okay? You need to understand how, how positivity and negativity, your frantic mindset, you need to understand how all of this plays an active role into your critical thinking. And your critical thinking affect, affects your future. It's as simple as that. It strictly affects your future. You you gotta understand what it is. Got to. If you're not willing to do that, that's on you. You know that that's fine. That's fine. If you're not willing to do that, that's on you. That's cool. But just take the time to know. Take the time to understand. Take the time to really see how these things affect you as a person. You have to understand these things because I, I'm gonna tell you something. A lot of times breakthrough doesn't happen. A lot of times people can't get, we always talk about restoration and breakthrough, right? We always talk about that, but nobody wants to put in the work to achieve restoration and breakthrough. And a lot of that work that comes in to achieve restoration and breakthrough is what people, it's making sure that you understand you first. I don't care about what other people said about you. I don't care if what other people said about you was true. You still have to analyze what was said, take into account what was done and say, OK, this is it. Accept it and move on in a positive, constructive way. OK, Life Coach Jeff, how does that look for me? OK, I'll tell you how that looks for you. Somebody can call you ugly. OK, somebody can call you ugly. Do you believe you're ugly? No. No. So if you don't believe that you're ugly, okay, so if you don't believe that you're ugly, why would you continue to manifest that? Why would you continue to give that power to people, right? Are you weaker in that self-esteem area? Are there some things that you don't want to accept about yourself emotionally that may be down the line or early in your life that people have said about you or done? Could it be some past, some past trauma? Could it be something like that? And what I mean by trauma is people, I'm not trying to say like, it's this, it's this horrible thing that happened to you. No, 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 no. It's an experience that left an impression on your life. And now it shapes who you are today. It's, it's an experience that has a considerable amount of expression in your life. And now you're recognizing it. OK, that's all that's all it is. It left an impression on you. So the thing is that that's what I mean by that. I'm not going by a book definition, but you know what? Let, let's let's look up this book definition real quick because I get it. I understand, you know, but a lot of it is my thing is mindset. See, trauma is defined as going through a stressful, frightening or distressing events. It's sometimes called trauma. That's what it is. When we talk about emotional or phys- uh, psychological trauma. We might mean situations or events we find traumatic. So it could be something frightening, okay? It could be something distressing, okay? So think about it. People called you ugly all your life. That is something distressing, right? That's something distressing. And that's something that we don't want to, we don't want to really dwell on or pay attention to. But it does something in your mind. It does something. It programs you to think that you are a certain way. Until somebody comes along and says the words, I love you. You're beautiful. I love you for who you are, regardless of what people say. And what does that do? That flips the switch. Because now you've been introduced to something that you never thought was even there. Okay? Your breakthrough is receiving that. Other people can tell you you're beautiful. Other people can tell you I love you for who you are. But do you believe it? Do you love you for who you are? Do you accept you for who you are? You know? That's what you really got to look at, people. All these things affect your future. 
and the directions that you would want to go next. All of these things do. And you can't put all of that on people. You have to take some of that direct responsibility on yourself to do that. When pertaining to your future, there are a lot of different things that come up in our lives that we can say, okay, this is what somebody else did and it affected me. Okay. But if something happened 20, 30 years ago, the whole point is don't make the same mistake that you made 20, 30 years ago. There it is. That's the whole thing. Don't make the mistake that you made last year or the year before. Don't go down the same path. Okay, because, you know, that can do something with you or if you were, quote unquote, delivered or restored from something, you know, if you were delivered from it and you're moving down that that right direction and it comes up again. All right. Do you know what your trigger is so you can identify it and deflect and stray away from it? Do you know what your trigger is? You know. It's, it's, it's that, I don't want to say it's that simple. I'm not going to say that, people. I'm not going to say it's that simple because I get it. Sometimes things aren't that simple. I understand. So we not even going, uh, I'm not even going to throw that out there for somebody to take a hold of. And they're like, well, life coach Jeff is not that simple. I know it's not that simple. It takes time. Okay. Got to put in some work. It takes time for this. So, uh, All right, y'all. I did not want to be before you all too long. Didn't want to do that. You know, y'all still recuperating after the holidays and whatnot. So, you know, I want to give y'all some time to just relax a bit, you know, just relax a bit. Do you? You know what I mean? So, yeah. Uh, Once again, I appreciate you all for listening. And I hope that you are are going to take into account these things that can affect your future, because uh, I will have another episode out for the new year. So that way you all can uh, we're going to we're going to go through some things to help kind of map your way through these next 12 months. OK, through these next 12 months. And uh, we're going to see if you can kind of take a hold of that, because I want you all to be successful in whatever it is that you do. You know how it goes. y'all. As long as you ain't causing any physical or bodily or harm to anybody else, bodily harm to anybody else. I'm all for it. If it's positive, constructive, move in that right direction. But all right, y'all, Life Coach Jeff coming to you. Remember, redirect, regroup, refocus. I love y'all. Peace out. Thank you for listening and tuning in to the Redirect, Regroup, Refocus podcast. We do thank you and appreciate and value you as a listener. Now, uh, I would like to just throw in, please follow us on social media. You can follow us on Instagram as Redirect, Regroup, Refocus, and also Life Coach Jeff Relliford. You can also find me on Facebook as Jeff Relliford. That's my personal page. Go ahead, give me a follow there. I always put up some good inspirational content. And also the business page, Redirect, Regroup, Refocus on Facebook as well. So, all right, you all, thank you for tuning in. And next week, we will be here again. Remember, Redirect, Regroup, Refocus. I love y'all. Peace out.